Axe Handle Saturday, also known as the Jacksonville Riot of 1960, was a racially motivated attack in Hemming Park in Jacksonville, Florida on August 27, 1960. A group of 200 white men used baseball bats and axe handles to attack black people who were in sit-in protests opposing racial segregation. In the heart of a scorching August day in 1960, a seemingly tranquil park in Jacksonville, Florida held a dark secret. As the sun bathed Hemming Park in its golden rays, the stage was set for an eruption of hatred and violence that would forever change the course of American history. This is the untold story of Axe Handle Saturday, a pivotal moment in the civil rights struggle, where ordinary people stood together against extraordinary odds, and the legacy of their bravery continues to shape our world today. Join us as we journey back to that fateful day, a day when courage clashed with brutality and the fight for justice echoed through the generations. Segment one, setting the stage. As the radiant sun ascended over Hemming Park, Jacksonville appeared deceptively serene. The park was a hub of activity, seemingly untouched by the turmoil that lurked beneath the city's veneer of tranquility. But this was 1960, an era when racial tensions festered just below the surface. Segregation was the oppressive status quo, an indelible stain on the nation's conscience. Yet amid this oppressive atmosphere, a beacon of hope shone. African Americans, weary of inequality, had mustered the courage to defy the unjust norms through sit-in protests, boldly demanding the rights that were rightfully theirs. In the heart of this peaceful park, teeming with life, a storm of change was brewing. It was a morning like no other, destined to be etched in history as the moment when the call for justice would resound louder than ever before. Segment two, the storm begins. As the hands of the clock neared noon, an ominous cloud of hatred and fear descended upon Hemming Park. It was a chilling sight. A congregation of 200 white men, armed with ax handles and baseball bats, marching with a menacing determination. Their collective mission was clear, to crush the voices of the black protesters who had dared to defy the oppressive status quo. In the blink of an eye, the tranquil park transformed into a battleground of chaos and brutality. The once peaceful scene was shattered as blows rained down upon those who had gathered to peacefully demand justice. The clash between those seeking equality and those desperate to maintain the status quo had erupted into an unrelenting storm of violence. This was the moment when the struggle for civil rights reached a fever pitch, a moment that would forever be etched into the annals of history as Axe Handle Saturday. Segment 3. Heroes of Hemming Park In the midst of this tumultuous and brutal showdown, heroes emerged from the heart of the chaos. These were not caped crusaders or legendary figures, they were ordinary men and women, a diverse tapestry of black and white individuals who found themselves united in a common cause. As the blows rained down and the world seemed to crumble around them, these brave African-American protesters, in particular, refused to yield. They stood resolutely, a symbol of unwavering commitment to the ideals of equality and justice. Their courage in the face of unrelenting brutality became an indomitable symbol of the civil rights movement's spirit. In the heat of that fateful August day, these individuals, fueled by their shared belief in a better future, embodied the very essence of heroism. Their actions on Axe Handle Saturday would forever be etched into the collective memory as a testament to the power of unity and the unbreakable human spirit. Segment 4. A Nation Reacts The impact of Axe Handle Saturday was profound and far-reaching, sending shockwaves that reverberated across the entire nation. As news of the brutal attack spread like wildfire, it ignited a collective outcry for justice and equality. Prominent civil rights leaders, including the iconic figures Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X, stepped into the spotlight to denounce the senseless violence. They fervently called for an end to the deeply entrenched racial segregation that had plagued the United States for generations. Their impassioned speeches and unwavering commitment to justice resonated deeply with a nation grappling with its conscience. The media, both print and broadcast, carried headlines that documented the horrors of that fateful day, serving as a stark reminder of the brutality that racial prejudice could breed. Public opinion, once complacent or indifferent, began to shift. The events of Axe Handle Saturday served as a catalyst, galvanizing a growing movement for civil rights. This pivotal moment in history marked the beginning of a new era, where the fight for civil rights gained unprecedented momentum. 
As the nation grappled with the disturbing truth of what had occurred in Hemming Park, it set the stage for transformative change. Segment 5. The Legacy Lives On. In the present day, Hemming Park stands not only as a physical space, but as a powerful symbol of progress and transformation. The Jacksonville of today bears little resemblance to the city of 1960, as the legacy of Axe Handle Saturday has shaped its evolution. Jacksonville, like the entire United States, has come a long way since that fateful day in 1960. The park that once bore witness to hatred and violence has now become a place of unity and diversity. People from all walks of life gather here, free from the constraints of segregation that once tainted its grounds. The legacy of Axe Handle Saturday endures as a solemn reminder of the sacrifices made in the pursuit of equality. It serves as a testament to the bravery of those who stood up against injustice, even in the face of overwhelming hostility. Their unwavering commitment to a better future laid the foundation for the more inclusive and just society that we strive to be today. As the city of Jacksonville continues to grow and evolve, it does so with the indelible mark of its history etched into its conscience. The events of that turbulent day are not forgotten, but rather serve as a guiding light, reminding us of the importance of unity, equality, and justice for all. Conclusion. As we pause to reflect on the harrowing events of Axe Handle Saturday, we find ourselves in a way of the incredible bravery displayed by those who refuse to yield in the face of hatred and violence. Their unwavering commitment to justice and equality serves as a powerful reminder that change is not only possible but inevitable when driven by the indomitable spirit of the human heart. The heroes of that tumultuous day, both black and white, remind us that the struggle for civil rights is a journey that requires immense courage, resilience, and sacrifice. They stood as beacons of hope during one of America's darkest hours, illuminating a path towards a more just and equal society. As we look back on this pivotal moment in the civil rights movement, we are compelled to acknowledge that the battle for equality is far from over. Yet the legacy of Axe Handle Saturday propels us forward, reminding us that progress is born from the collective efforts of individuals who refuse to accept injustice. In the present day, as we continue to grapple with issues of racial inequality and social justice, the spirit of those who faced brutality in Hemming Park lives on. Their courage inspires us to push for a society where the principles of fairness, inclusivity, and justice are not just ideals, but lived realities for all. Let the memory of Axe Handle Saturday serve as a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit and a rallying cry for the ongoing pursuit of a better, more equitable world.